crying funny, like back of the classroom jokes are kind of funny. I think Mike Epps is that to a T. I laugh more when I watch Mike Epps than any other person I've watched in comedy. And I've watched a lot of stand-ups. Mike Epps made me laugh more than anybody else. Mm-hmm. It's just side-splitting laughter. And for that, like, because at the end of the day, it is to make people laugh. That's why you're up there. Yeah. I, I, put him in my, I might have to put him in my top five. Mike Epps might be one of the best comedians of all time that nobody knows or talks about. I think Mike Epps is a... Uh, I think he's an acquired taste. That's what I think. And I think if you don't like his brand of humor, then you're not going to see him on the same level. Whereas I think someone like Chris Rock is like, everybody can find him funny. You know what I well, mean? No, well, well, here's the thing. I think that's backwards. I think everybody can find Mike as funny because everybody knows a um, class clown. White people, black people, women, men, everybody has been in a class and you had a class clown that's made the entire class laugh. Whereas Chris Rock, I think he's so smart. Sometimes his jokes might... It might either go over your head, or you might get offended. Like you said yourself, white people hated Tambourine, his most recent stand-up special, because he was going at them or that, whatever. That's because white folks starting to feel racism for the first time when they don't know right. how to react. Right, but you never get that sentiment from a comic like Mike Epps. That's why I think everybody can digest his comedy. It is easily digestible, but it's also, but that makes it so much fun because everybody think, I, I can think, get it. I think Mike Epps' version of a class clown is very different from say. Uh, a white person's right so i think like the version of jokes they're used to is different it's very different whereas like someone like chris rock his is obviously jokes and you can laugh at how well executed the joke is versus i say a lot of mike epps you're laughing at the persona and if you don't think he's funny then you know you probably won't be laughing you know what I'm saying that persona everybody has been around that persona before you've always you've seen that persona walking down your hallway in high school at least a few times in your life so you know what that comedy comes from so some people might not really understand chris rock mm-hmm. or somebody like dave Chappelle or somebody like that and they be like i really don't get it and that's why you that's why his comic that's why his comedy can be so divisive because a lot of people are like i don't get that because i don't know what you're talking about when he say like you know black men are an endangered species like, i don't know what you're talking about but my gifts none of his comedy ever exhibits that kind of divisive reaction if you either laugh or you don't and most of the time, everybody laughs at the class clown. Mike Epps is the class clown persona of comedy, and he's done it the best, I think, and that's why I have to put him in that space with the rest of the greats. Mm-hmm. That's just what I want to say, because I watched Don't Take It Personal early, and it was just funny. It's just it's just funny jokes. It's mm-hmm. just funny like stuff that you can hear at a cookout or family reunion or class or football a locker room or with your group of friends just riding around is that kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Yep. I can see that. I just don't think a lot of people would agree. Yeah, I didn't ask for a lot of people's opinion. See, you see how that works? I'm not arguing with you. Placeholder bar. <laughs> what does that mean? That means I filled the place with the ball, Mike. So now it's empty again. So I gotta fill it up again. Oh man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Been watching anything good? Uh, Jamie tried to get me on the show. Was it on the block or called or on the block? I don't know what that is. It's some show that everybody been raving about. Um. A lot of, um, not everybody, I'm just, I'm just saying it. A lot of black people raving what's the blocks. What's it called? Uh, What's it called? Like Call on the Block or something like that? Call on the Block. I'm not really not sure the name, but it's something. It's on Netflix. That's they definitely say it. They say it's great. What's it about? I have no idea. About black people. Hmm. Is it like I mean, a, is it written or is it like a documentary show? It's a, it's a show, nigga. It's a real show. I see. What's it called? On the Block? I think it's On the Block. On the Block. Let's see. On My Block. That's what it's called. On My Block. Yeah, they say it's great. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't don't know what this is. A lot of people have been telling me about it. It Looks interesting, though. Yeah. it's It's brand new. Jasmine said it was great. I saw another girl on uh, my Snapchat said it was great. 
That's what's up. So I ain't watched it yet, but I guess. I guess it's great, huh? Oh, I did watch Moana today. It's pretty great. I heard it's good. I still want to need to watch it though. Pretty good. Pretty. You watch good. it with Jasmine. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I was just like, wow. I didn't think it was gonna be as good. Yeah. Uh, well, makes makes me want to watch Princess and the Frog and other things. Like what? I still want to watch. Uh, what's that movie about the emotions? Uh, Inside Out. Yeah, I still want to watch that. It's trash. No, it ain't. <laughs> I don't like it very much. Cause you don't like good things, but you know. I just don't like the dumb things, you know. Okay. I got good oh. things though. That's my thing. Placeholder yeah. bar fool. I saw this. Uh, <laughs> I saw this uh, thing on Twitter. Somebody you know you gotta keep announcing it. I do got a ding. Placeholder bar. Uh, I saw this thing on Twitter. Mm. It was like uh, we need been waiting on this code for a long time. It was the Bublo boat uh, verse. Oh, Bublo boat. Yeah, so apparently a lot of people really, like I saw, I think they talked about that, on, they talked about it on Everyday Struggle, I've been getting back into them lately, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of alright. Yeah, I know, I watched I watched it when they were talking about the Takashi 6 9 uh, Charlemagne thing, I was like, it's it's kind of okay. People were talking about this, because I saw, <laughs> I was looking at the comments, and it said, without, it was one comment that said, no Joe, no show, and the comments under that was like, nigga, you still here? Right. <laughs> he was like, well, we've been past that. I ain't gonna lie, I stopped watching this shit, but then I, I don't know why, when me come back and I was like, let me go see what they on. I'm like, mm-hmm. huh? And they start talking about, and they talk about the J. Cole. They're like, so is this a bounce back year? And they were talking about how the album, you know, one received well. And Star was like, he loved J. Cole. He said he don't think he's giving enough credit. Da da da. And they uh, and they said that you know Cole can do this all the time. And da 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 da. And that was just like the nigga born, but you know, but that verse was great. So you know, hopefully, and the album was born and all that kind of stuff. And I was just, and and, and they asked the Cole, they were like, is he back? And I'm like, where did nigga went? He. Didn't he do the album with no features twice? Platinum. Know. People don't like it, so you know that's they gonna they gonna feel how they gonna feel. Can't but, be mad at no, it, right? I hated the, the implication like he's back, as in he left, and I'm like, where he go? Even Cole said in Bubble Bo, he said dealing with my own like type of shit, and then people saying that uh, my shit ain't good no more, like Jermaine stuff ain't good no more, or something like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And I was just like, where did that come from? I don't know. I just think people didn't like For Your Eyes and they just like didn't know how to handle it. Which is fine, you know. People gonna like what they like. Would you like the song though? Yeah, I really like the song. But I love Royce and I love Cole, so. Royce body on though, didn't he? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say it. I think, I think, I think Cole's verse was weird though. It sounded odd. It was a different, no, I thought it was dope. It was, it's, it's, it's some stuff he do. I'm just, I'm like, it's weird. I don't know. Yo, you off that man. You don't like that man no more. <laughs> yeah, I don't like Cole no more. You don't like Cole no more. That's right. Y'all heard it here I first. I know. You turning your back on that man. Yo, I got in an argument on Twitter. There's a dude, uh, you know, DJBooth.com, the net? Yes. A, a writer for an article, he wrote top 10 best Cole ver- uh, features. So I, I commented under that. He po- Somebody posted on Twitter. And I was like, y'all crazy for that top two. And then he going to retweet me and be like, I don't know what you talking about. And then I was like, okay. Oh, you got a little fame. And I'm like, this man, ain't gonna, but you ain't going to tell me about Jay Cole just because you write a little article. So we, we got a little back and forth on Twitter. I was like, this man. What was the top two verses? Number two was Looking for Trouble. You know what what is about? it? That's the the one he made with Kanye. It's a good verse, but it's not like top two. I don't even remember that shit. It's, it's at the end of uh, Friday Night Lights. If you hear it, I know a lot of people who love that verse. Like, really love it. So, I get it. But I don't. It's not top two. And number one was Beautiful Bliss. Wally. What the fuck is that? You never heard Beautiful Bliss? People, that's like, that, there's a lot of people who say that's Cole's best rapping ever. But I don't think that's, not to me though. A lot How of long ago was it? Oh, nine. It was on, it was on a, what was it? Attention Deficit? It was on his first album. Oh, wow. That's yeah. why I know that shit. Yeah, it was right after he dropped the warm up. It's really good verse. It just ain't his best. His number three was Knock the Hustle Remix. And my thing was, everything on that list is better than them top two. But you know that's for the kids who grew up on, on fuck shit. But um, do you always want to <laughs> degrade and bring somebody down when they don't agree with you? They just you. ain't got good taste though. And you ain't gonna tell me about J Cole. You really can't. Like at this point, like I guess you can be like, but Kendrick is better, and I can't really argue with you because you like that. But if you gonna tell me, nah, this J Cole is better than this J Cole, I just can't. I can't listen to you. You know. 
No. I mean, you're like, what, what am I supposed to do? You ain't gonna tell me. Let the record show everybody. I put Ian on Cole. So <laughs> nobody said you didn't. Mate. <laughs> I just have to let them you know. Cause you always like, you always saying that like I say you didn't. Come on, cause you be trying to discredit me. How so? You trying to like, nah? He ain't put me on. I put myself on Cole. Yeah, I ain't never said that. <laughs> I'm always like, yeah, you did. I don't know what we talking about. I saw that nigga really put up on uh, IG. He said. Lord or, Al- or Kendra for album of the year. I'm like, man, shut the fuck up. You talking about for what? Damn. I guess that. No, I'm talking about here. another album this year. No, you talking about? I guess you talking about last. You said Lord or Kendra. I'm talking about Big Crit definitely had the album of the year, and I don't care. Yeah, but that's sheep talk though. People get bought into the hype. He is that. Yeah, you should put him on the show sometime. Fuck the name. I don't know why you don't like him. I do like him. Anyway. How's, uh, how Katie and Lindsay doing? I ain't living, walking around looking crazy. Katie out here working. I always on her Snapchat working with some cats. She, that's her life now. She ain't got one. And Lindsay, but, I don't know what she doing. Did she take, did, before, did Katie take Lindsay to a screening? Like a private They they watch, they watch some movies. Yeah, but did they watch them by themselves? Like privately? I think people was in there. But I mean, it looked like it was just like them two, and maybe looked, the other workers. It was it was integral to nobody watch this shit. What they go see? It was like Love Simon and some other bullshit. I heard Love Simon's amazing. Oh, okay. It's about a gay boy in high school who comes out. You would think that's amazing. I ain't gonna say something crazy, but I let the record show I love gay people. Yeah, it's for you. <laughs> they gonna have this exhibit A. Like, okay. I don't think we don't go back through this way, way back in the past and pull this up. You mean way, way back? They might come out tomorrow. You might be like, yeah, Nate. Ain't nobody checking for us. Yeah. Who knows? You might go somewhere and be like, hey, I'm Nate. I'm just trying to work at Hill over here at Turner Sports. They're like, yeah, we heard that podcast, though. I said, boy, how you hear that shit? They're going to be like, Nate cursing at us. I said, nigga, shut up. I'm going to talk to Ernie Johnson. Ernie! And they're going to be like, yeah, we're we going to need you to leave. No, and I push by. I said, man, I'm going to talk to Ernie. You're going to put a bullet in your back. I'm not going to do that either. And they're going to be just like Alvin. You're going to be like, no indictment. Oh, okay, so you sick. Did, did, did you cry when you hear the news? What news? When Alden Sterling ain't get no justice. Man, I ain't crying no more for this shit. We know what it is. They done act like he been shot with water hoses or something. I cried before. They done act like he been out here marching in the streets for these folks. Hey, you remember my well, first Where was you when them, when them high school kids was marching? Hey, I'm trying to talk. You remember my freshman year when we walked to McDonald's from the Union? Well, you were like a group of folks? Remember that protest? It was like yeah, a, I remember. But all y'all do is walk there, get some burgers, and come back. We ain't get no damn burgers, nigga. We <laughs> we stood on the middle of the street and held hands and t- said a prayer or something. I don't remember what we did. And yeah, we had so a police. Yeah, it really made an impact, huh? Don't it did. Remember. We had a police escort and we laid down in the union. People couldn't get by because it was a bunch of us. And we laid down on the floor for like ten minutes, just quiet. And then we got up and we walked all the way downtown you in know the street. They was like, "Look at these fools out here messing up my day. Can get my snacks." I said, good, you don't need no snack, big fatty. And then you get on this uh, street with us and start protesting these black lives not being mattered. Your, right in your face on the glass. <laughs> and then I'll get up and apply pressure. And as soon as you did, you would see seen <laughs> PD. Get that black off that white. They said, stop resisting it, then it's over with. They pop. They all years, pop, 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 pop. And they got my feet off the ground like Radio Raheem. Okay, see. <laughs> he was out here joking. Now you bringing up real stuff. Radio Ryan ain't real, nigga. Yeah, but the sentiment was. You saw that movie. Uh, that ride was real, wasn't it? Nope. They tore up that shop, didn't they? No, nah, that's fake. They would. They still want to Even if he in real life, they threw a. Uh, if he threw that damn track in, they still would have said, "Nigga, we still from the kill house south first, so what the fuck." I don't think they about killing nobody though. They was. They know better than that. They don't. Yeah, I don't know about you, bro. I don't, I don't know. know about you. Yeah, you need to calm. You need to calm. Shit. Tell what I need to do, nigga. Yeah, you are right. <laughs> so it's been up, boy. He's gonna graduate in May. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm good. Uh, if y'all that don't know. Nah, that's not taking <laughs> my business. <laughs> hey, I just guess what I just got on DVD. Nothing good. Green room. 
What is it? That movie I showed y'all. You didn't show us nothing. Yeah, I showed y'all. I showed y'all this movie. The first thirty minutes, y'all was tuning out and talking to each other. Then when stuff started happening, y'all started paying attention. Oh, that's the room where the dude had the broke arm. Exactly. And then then halfway through, like, but why he doing this? And I'm like. If y'all asses would have watched the first 30 minutes, maybe you know this shit. You all so, be picking up. So, so, soon as somebody, so, on the we was watching, I was like, this is a great movie. I'm telling y'all, y'all really need to watch it. It's a little slow at the beginning. Y'all like, okay, okay. And then it started, it was slow at the beginning, and then y'all just gonna talk. Then folks started getting stabbed in the forehead and arms broke. And they all like, oh, this is good. And then Lindsay gonna be like, why Why he asked that question? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe you watch the first bit. That Lindsay, you don't show no be paying attention. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying, don't be disrespecting me when I'm trying to show y'all something. I mean, but pick a better movie, and then you ain't got to disrespect you. Well, yeah, in, in, in. What? Uh, I know you ready for uh, Infinity War. Oh! I ain't seen not one trailer for that movie. That trailer's fine. I have not watched one, and I'm not going to. I'm either going to watch the movie blind, or I'm just not going to watch it. But either way. You're just not a good fan of movies. I just, like, like after Spider-Man, I'm like, you know what? These ain't for me. I'm dumb. Nigga, you love Spider-Man. Homecoming was scratch. You scratch, said Tom Holland the best Spider-Man ever. I think he's, I think he is. I still think and that's trash. dumb. I thought he's a movie trash, though. <laughs> Tobey Maguire is without a doubt the best Spider-Man. Die of a wimpy Spider-Man, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, he cool. He encapsulated... What Spider Man was a depressed, tormented soul, and just because he ain't in high school and he ain't a young little bitch, don't mean nothing. You ain't got to be directly from the. I'm talking. You got to be directly from the Marvel. You got to be directly from the comic book to encapture the uh, the essence of what Joker was. Not the traditional. Uh, Heath Ledger wasn't the traditional Joker, but he encapsulated what Joker was to a T more so than uh, Keaton or Keaton Jack and the Joker or whatever them boys was. Yeah, you right. Tom McGraw was sad. He was depressed. He was tormented. He was angry about his uh, Uncle Ben dying. You saw that through all three movies. He never got over that. Until the end, he lost his best friend. He was what Spider-Man is, a tormented soul with, granted, the best abilities ever. And having to deal with his loved ones always being in constant danger. Even when he can help or he can't, it's always going to be his fault. That's what Spider-Man is. I ain't talking about this little bitchy little, oh, I'm finna go to prom, and, and my girlfriend's dad is, is Vulture, and he's gonna kill me. Or that Andrew Garfield bullshit. He was the best Spider-Man. The best three movies, and the fourth one would've been Fire, because I know, because I read a YouTube video, and watched the YouTube video where they talked about it, and what it would've been. And it would've been great, but it didn't happen, because Sam Raimi uh, cuckolded it out. Yeah, we, 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 ain't gonna, we ain't finna do this. We are. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. Yeah, uh, Toby, he's like a, a solid 8 out of 10. No, nah, he's a 10 Tom, out of 10. Like, yeah. Tom was like a 9 out of 10. Tom was a 7 and out of 10. He happened to be in a 2 out of 10 movie. Andrew, and no, here Peter it is. Peter was in some 10 out of 10 films. No, nah, here it is. That's the difference. P- Peter, oh, I'm sorry. Peter was a 10 out of 10. You just talked, though. Tom was a 7 out of 10, and Andrew Garfield was a, uh, incomplete. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, I guess we're just going to agree to disagree, huh? Not good. You just wrong. You know, I am that. Um, it can happen. <laughs> oh, I know. But that's around. I'm right. Yep. Um, I'm never wrong. I bet if I ask Willie, he say different. Uh, fuck Willie. When he write about anything? Uh, anyway, uh, let's keep it moving. You ain't got no guidelines or no bullet points. Uh, when I come up there for that week, we gonna watch um the Before Trilogy. I'm okay. No, nah, man. It's a great it's the second best trilogy ever made. I ain't gonna even be around here when you come up. I'm gonna be uh somewhere else. Nah, we gonna watch. It. You ain't been to the movies, have you? Uh, so it's Black Panther. You wanna talk about that? I want to say, we were supposed to go see Acrimony yesterday, but we didn't. And I think on uh, April 14th, we're going to go see Truth or Dare. See what? April 13th, Friday, April 13th. We're going to go see Truth or Dare. I don't want to see that. You see the trailer for it? Hell yeah. Look good, huh? Shit looks scary. Looks, yeah, it look kind of crazy. Yeah. I don't want to see it. Man, you, you, you down for that. But Jasmine want to see it, so I'm sorry. Right. I mean, you saw, uh, remember we watched that movie, The Monster? No, I don't. You remember about that little girl, her mama in the, in the rain? 
What is it? Remember that movie we watched about that that little girl and her mom, and that monster came when they got their car. They on the oh car. yeah. So you can watch they that. Both have, they both should have. They both should have died. Yeah, I don't know about that. They should have. But yeah, let's get into uh, Black Panther. Just tell me what you like. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk bad on it. I'm just gonna hear what you, you you talk bad on it enough. I'm, I'm just not. I'm just not here to. I'm not gonna make nobody else dislike it. If you like it, you like. It. Yeah, cause you always trying to. Bring so what? So what you like about it, Nate? <laughs> Place hold a bar thing, but uh. Wait, like I said. Okay, I heard you said the first thing. You gotta repeat it. But uh, so Black Panther. I think, as a whole, it was the best Marvel film I've seen. The best one I've seen now. But you ain't seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I've seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and I fell asleep. So that tells me everything I need to know about that series. Volume is trash. One is, volume 1 is alright. Volume 2 is It's not great. good. The both, movies suck. Great. both movies suck. Both movies suck. Anyways. Um, every character is great. They all have a personality amongst their own. Uh, the world of Wakanda is beautiful. Uh, the protagonist has highs and lows. You know. The story is well, you know, thought out. The direction is great. Ryan Coogler, he uh, he's a hundred. He's batting a hundred percent right now. You know, he he can't do no wrong at this point. I still need a Creed too from him, but you know, we ain't gonna get that, so that sucks. But uh, you know, and do we need to talk about the antagonist Eric Killmonger or Michael B. Jordan? Uh, how great he was. Yep. J- just you know. Just no wrong. In terms of a Marvel movie, it was a perfect Marvel movie. Now, um, let me say it again, perfect Marvel movie. We don't take it out the realm of Marvel because then it's going to be, you know, it's going to be slighted. But we're going to keep it in that universe. It's the best one I've seen with the best antagonist in in the whole world, in the whole MC universe or whatever. Uh, yeah, best direction. All that checks all the boxes. And it was unapologetically black. You can't go wrong with that. I'm getting a dashiki soon. Because it's needed. So, that's all I got to say about the movie BP. And it's breaking all the records. It's selling out everything. It's going to break everything. So, you know. We can get these movies made. You know. They said black people are marketable. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, I, I, I thought it was great. That's awesome. All right. So you gonna say coon back? Well, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, hey, you doing your thing? Yep. Do you say that, nigga? We don't want to hear it anyway. Yep. I need to hear you, Jason Willox or Stevens from Candyland, talking about our movies. <sighs> Cause you a Ben Shapiro supporter, ain't you? I mean, he's entertaining. <laughs> What's that other dude? Uh, e- Yiannopoulos or whatever his name is? Tomo Milo. Yeah, you like him too, huh? I'm not a fan, no. You love Rush Limbaugh too, huh? Don't listen. But uh, that's great, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, oh, Anthony Joshua beat uh, Parker yesterday, so it's looking like it's going to be Deontay Water versus Anthony Joshua. For the WBC Heavyweight Championship. This is boxing, but I would box my second favorite sport to basketball. Is it, I don't is want to talk though? about basketball. Is I don't want to talk about basketball. Because everything I like is not happening. So I don't I don't care. I'm not gonna talk about it. UConn lost yesterday and Mississippi State won. That hurt yeah, me. That was a big deal. Cause now Miss Mississippi State going back to the championship. And when they lose again, I'm I think, doing I think, I think we'll take it though. I think Everybody's we saying that and they said that last year. What happened? I don't think nobody thought we were going to make it two years in a row. And that's a big deal. It's going to happen again. Hey, I'm UConn ready for UConn lost three games in five years. And we beat them twice. <laughs> no, we did We beat them once. We beat them last year. Yeah, that's the only time. We beat them this year. No, we didn't, nigga. No, we today. Beat because, beat we beat them because we got there. That's not what, I'm, that's not what well, you're talking about. They didn't get there. Bro. Right. Uh, anyway. Also, wait. I listened to a flavor, too, where Kaz was talking about he used to like women's March Madness because UConn used to be good. I was like, isn't UConn still pretty great? Three losses in five seasons. 
I mean, what? And they've only lost in the tournament, right? They lost last year in the Final Four and this year in the Final Four. So it's not like UConn is not one of the best teams in the in America still. They're one of they're the best team in sports history. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, they are. Name me a more dominant team than the UConn Huskies of this last decade. They won two championships. Come on, 15, in any sport ever. I'm talking about in any sport. They are the most dominant sports team we've ever seen. The 96 Spurs? 96 Spurs? <laughs> and you don't have to be a dumb fuck <laughs> to get a point of view. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Oh, the uh, the sixties uh, Celtics. And shut up. Th- does that not count? No. Nine you know in what? A row, baby. It was, it, was, it was eighteen. Nine back in then. a row. <laughs> back to back to back to back to back to back. They they lost one championship in a decade. Come Y'all on. in on no sports? Back so to back to back. Excuse him. Neil Russell, greatest player of all time. <laughs> Best player, best coach, most rings of any human being you ever to be associated with the NBA. Thank you. You the biggest cook. <laughs> am I wrong on any of that, though? You wrong on all of it. How am I wrong? That man got like 30 rings, though. He got 13 rings. 13 rings. Four as a coach and what, nine as a player? Nigga, I don't know. I'm pretty sure he got some. He got he got at least like two as a coach. I don't know about that either. I don't think that's a great move. Um. Anyway, so are they not the most dominant team in sports history? No, UConn Huskies is the most dominant team in sports history. How is it? How is it not? Because I like them. Oh, that's the only reason. Yes. I bet if you go. Oh, he won eleven see, championships. See, you, you being them kids, you being them. Hold oh, no. on. No, no, no. You let me talk. No, you being them kids who, uh, you being them kids who saying LeBron is the best. You ain't going back and watch it for yourself. Go and watch some Russell games. I've seen a few. He played eight teams. You ain't seen a few because it ain't no few. footage. There is footage. What you talking about? No, it's highlights. You ain't seen a whole Bill Russell game. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You obviously you ain't got ESPN Classic though. So what are you talking about, nigga? I've That's been why watching. Y'all ain't watching it. All right. right, I ain't even arguing. I probably don't even argue with you. <laughs> you just stupid. I don't see the problem. Are you the problem? I guess so. But I'm just saying, I'm just stating facts, bro. Who got the most rings? That's all I want to know. UConn or uh, Bill Russell? I don't know. Exactly. Bill Russell. He played eight teams. <laughs> hey, guess what? Dominated them all. All of them were white men. Apparently not. He was on a, He was on the Celtics. He was the only nigga. No, he was not. Okay. I, I know that for a fact. He was not the only black man in the NBA. Is, I ain't, did I say the NBA? Oh, what? What did he play in? The 60s? What, 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 what organization? What? What organization he play under? No, I said that I said the only black man in the NBA or his team. You said he was the only black man. He played nine teams. That was just I didn't said. know. I said he played nine teams. You said he said what? You say he was the and he dominated best them all. That's what I said. And I said he was the only black person. Exactly. He was not the only black person on in his NBA. team. Even better. I mean, he was that good. No. All right. You gonna start putting on putting salt on Bill Russell's name? You gonna start being a nigga? My, my personal list: Bill, Kareem, Michael, LeBron, Duncan. Top five. You so fucking trash. I hate you so much. <laughs> is that not a good top five though? No, it's not at all. That's first objectively all, top five. That is not a. First of all, you put Kareem over Jordan. Yes, accolades, he, accolades, first, accolades, no accolades. accolades. I'm gonna hang up. I promise you. Right? <laughs> you being a fucking nut, nigga. You a goofy. <laughs> no center should be the best of all time. Sorry. That's discriminatory. It is. I can't yeah, help I, it. I bet you. I bet you. Shaq was better than some point guards. No, he was not. He's not. He's not better than any point guard ever to be in the NBA. Yeah, he's crazy. better. Crazy. I said, yeah, nigga. Crazy. I said, yeah. Crazy. But you know, the best point guards, he ain't better than them. Who, you know who, why? Who the best point guard? 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 The best point guard of all time? Yeah. Mm, Magic Johnson. Mm-hmm. 
Better than Chris Paul, huh? The well, fuck Chris Paul. Why you gotta do that? What's wrong he with fraudulent him? as fuck. How's he fraudulent? He ain't won shit. Who cares? You ain't gonna be the he best to win. To... Charles no, you in the do. Hall he of Fame, been... but he ain't won none. Patrick in the Hall of Fame, he ain't won none. Reggie in the Hall of Fame, he ain't won none. They led their teams to Shoot. finals. To Gary Payton, John Stockton. Gary Payton won a ring. With yeah, when he won the best on the team, though. So, if you ain't winning when you the franchise player, then you don't count. Chris Paul about to do that. He ain't the best player on the team. He with the Rockets now. He better, he, he better, than, he better than Harden, bro. Yeah, shut your dumb. Man, I'm like, I'm not gonna do this with you. You just don't. How you just not, don't know what how, you're talking. How is he not better? That's my question. Because he's not. Bow so. He ain't. I want, I want facts. You go look it up. I ain't gotta tell you. What you mean? So you ain't got no proof. All right. So then you just argue and smoke. Right. Yep. Okay then. I figure if I agree. All right. So on placeholder oh. podcast, ding placeholder. Uh, Chris Paul <laughs> is the best player on the Rockets and the best point guard in the league, according to Nate. <laughs> Right, he had the biggest fuck nigga they, in the they, league. They, you been watching, uh, you been playing some Fortnite? Fuck you in the Fortnite, nigga. Will it be playing Fortnite? Yeah. I know he got it. He always up on the trends. Uh, Why are you asking me these dumb ass? I don't care. I bet Fortnite's fun, bro. I think I was thinking about getting it. Then I have to pay for online. Now like, you better save it for God of War for to come out. Uh, you a nut. I don't pay. For, I ain't paying full price for stuff, bro. I'm gonna buy full price for God of War then. Nah. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna buy that uh, Bioshock collection. I'm gonna buy that Horizon Zero Dawn special edition, and I might buy that Fallout Four Game of the Year edition. You really trash. What are you talking about? God, we're gonna be there. It's not gonna be gone in the. It's month. better than all that other crap. It might be, but that don't mean I'm gonna pay sixty dollars for it. Act like money's growing too, you don't. You? you got it big time. Nah, you got it big time. I ain't got nothing. What you talking about? You good? You set for the for the month? Who? You? With what? With Yayo. What is Yayo? You know what that means? And you shut your dumb ass. You irritate the fuck out of me. That that just means money, Nate. You said that, not me. Money bag, yo, you nuts. No, you say Yayo. That's what you say. I never say no freaking Yayo. You do say Yayo. You said money bag, Yayo. I said money back, yo. No, you have not. No, so no, I've, I've, I've listened to you say it. I don't know what I said. What'd you say? Yeah, money back, yo. Okay. You sure about that? You dumb. That's what's up. Uh, you know who Lindsay You listen to the weekends uh My Dear Melancholy? I never want to hear that album ever. That's the, week, the weekend is for women. He got um, right back to his The weekend is for album, women. House of Balloons, the trilogy, Kiss you, Land music. You say that and then great. I listen to it and it's a whole lot of nothing. It ain't Starboy, it ain't Beat Behind the Manners. It's what we know able. If we it's all be, great. if we, we be in a hundred right now, Beat Behind the Madness is his best work. And I'm just gonna say it. If we being 100 right now, you have zero good taste in music. It's his best work. It really ain't. It really is. His best work is Trilogy. Actually, his best work is... Uh, Kiss uh, Land? I want to say Kiss Land. Whichever one got the morning on it, that's his best work. Which, the one with the heels is the best one, which is what, Nate? That's Beauty Behind the Madness. Exactly. Thank you. You like Talking pop, about baby. real life. You suck so much. Hoyt Van Hoyt Tama. Um, nah. That's not true. I just don't want to hear it, though. I don't I don't like The weekend's music. He's just he's really boring. Like, all his stuff that I used to like, I just don't like anymore. But if you say it's back to old weekend, I might give it a listen. It's He's sad in this one. He's sad in all of it, though. No, he ain't sad in Beauty Behind the Star, but he was happy as hell. I guess so. Sad Abel is the best Abel because he back on them drugs. You know he talking about Selena too because she played that man. She was just waiting on Justin to get right. She ain't with Justin no more either though. Well, she ain't with Abel either. Justin was talking about proposing, but now they ain't together no more. That was gonna be it for him. I need something new from him. I don't. I need a new album. 
I'm kind of done on my, like, I heard all the people I grew up on, like, they just really just falling off, bro. Like, I'm so done, bro. You know what I mean? It's because you fickle. You don't stay with your fan. If she hits the fan, and you're still a fan. We clearly see you ain't. Nah, bro, they just ain't putting out good stuff. Take out. They play, uh, you know, Love Story by Taylor Swift. They played on the song. They played on the radio like every other day. And every time I hear it, I'm like, God, this is good. And I, now she putting out BS. Bieber, he just hopping on trends. He too happy too. Yeah, he putting out Let Me Love You and EDM music. I'm just like, I don't, don't want to hear this. I don't. I need you. I need you. What? I need you. Do, 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 do. No, no. You know the Let Me Love You. Nigga, uh, I ain't what you talking about. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about though. So we ain't talking about that one. Um, I don't care what you're talking about. You seen Ladybird? Because I kind of really want to see it. Ian, I don't watch films. Have you seen Three Billboards? You said you went to see that, didn't you? I did, but then I quickly didn't. I mean, you know, do you? Yeah, I will. I'm probably going to, after I get off this with you, probably going to go watch September or try to rewatch it because I fell asleep. Probably going to watch some Hodge Twins. And, then, and I'm going to watch this Atlanta that I got recorded. I need to catch up on I've been missing it. Yeah, I know you have. Um, it's because I'll be forgetting. I need to get off that damn FX. That's a problem. No, you just don't care. That's fine. I really don't, but I do because I really would like to watch it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, a great show. It just... You don't care. You show called Love, didn't you? Huh? You watch Love? That was great. Yeah, it was great. Recommend that to anybody. You you made uh, Jasmine watch love? No, yep, yeah, I'm gonna make it. She was watching it the other night with Willie. They were like talking so much during it. Did she, she was that, like, did that bug her too? No, she was just like, it looked boring, and I was like, it ain't. I think he was affected because he was talking shit. Was he saying it's, it's a trash show? I'm not. He was, and then he ended up watching the whole thing. So I was like, must not be that trash. <laughs> Dumb fuck. But uh, he liked he liked he liked them. He liked the good shows, you know, like Game of yeah. Thrones and and The Crown. Like yeah. Look, bro, I heard the crown's good. Love seeing white people in charge. That's both of y'all. I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, I don't like white they, people. They really losing it. Um, I don't need to watch a show to watch white people control it. Yeah, you're right. Um, But the chick from the crown, Claire Foy, she in that movie Unsane that I really, really want to see. And I'm, I'm, I'm mad that I hadn't seen it yet. You know what I'm talking about, Unsane? No, I don't know what that is. Look up the trailer right now. I don't Jay, feel Jay like Farrell's it. in it. Look no, it up real quick. No. Right, he lost it. me in the other show he did. I was trash. It was not trash. You ain't he even seen trash. it. He wasn't a good actor. He's not a good actor. All right, well, I'm going I'm finna play the unsigned trailer for the folks at home. They don't want to hear that shit either. I'm gonna play it. Unsigned. Why don't you play a trailer we can't see? They do that in movie podcasts all the time. They dumb. Maybe you dumb. Um, Maybe you a nut. I gotta unplug my. Hello? What? Alright, I'm gonna play it. No. Can you hear it? Nate. You're alive. Yeah, yeah. I hear it. calls the cops get like that every week those are from crazy people Mom, no one believes me. I'm getting you out. There's nothing we can do unless you have proof. 
proof that a crime's been committed. I must be insane. I must be insane. My mom didn't pick up last night. Hello? I must be insane. What happened to her? A dead body was discovered. I must be insane. I must be insane. Maybe it's all in my head. Sound good, don't it? Yeah, it's great sounds. Gotta, gotta watch it. Shut up. I don't even know what that is. It's a, I heard it's good. It looks great. It's from the great Steven Soderbergh. You know who that is? Man, it sounds familiar. Yeah, you know, he made uh, Magic Mike. Oh, uh, wonderful. Magic Mike is probably one of the best films of the decade, honestly. Shut up! <laughs> it's an amazing movie. Anyway. I saw you retweet that film bracket thing against like, the NCAA tournament. And you know that uh, American Honey will beat Spring Breakers. It was a 24 Honestly, look, bro. American Honey is like, fourth, is like fourth or fifth best on that list. Moonlight over American Honey. What else? Spring Breakers over American Honey. The Witch over American Honey. So, you don't even believe it. I do. Moonlight is definitely better than American Honey. I, I ain't talking Amer- about that. And I American, American Honey. Was, American Honey was great. American Honey is great, but Spring Breakers is one of the best movies ever made. <laughs> it ain't. It really is, dude. You just like the the certain like shots when ain't nobody talking to the music playing. <laughs> that's what you like in movies. That's not true at all. I like it. Cause they don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he revealed something about himself. Um, right. We'll go about fifteen more minutes. Oh, no, yo, go I got this another um, placeholder point. Hey, we, don't, we don't have to call him that. Ding! Uh, Daniel Bryan, you know the wrestler Daniel Bryan. Yeah, he's gonna be wrestling, right? Yes. Back. After three years. They finally cleared him, and he's gonna be wrestling at WrestleMania, and it's it's we never thought he was gonna be cleared, and his deal is up in September. We thought he's definitely going back to Ring of Honor, but they cleared him. I, they probably want to keep him. That's what they know. You can't let nobody like that walk. He he is beloved in the wrestling uh, industry, and if he went back to Ring of Honor, that was gonna be a big loss for WWE. So they were like, "Hey, bro, if you don't care about your health, now to do we? So one more concussion, and you might be dead. Hey, that's on you." You know he had to sign a form saying, like, look, if you fall dead in that ring, that ain't on us. What, what if he just trashed, though? What if that's it? He's not. They say he won the best wrestler. I always thought he was a bit overrated, but they say he's one of the best wrestlers of a generation. They think he won the best of all time. And I'd be like, uh. You agree, huh? I, I mean, I went back and watched his Ring of Honor stuff with AJ, with uh, Samoa Joe and Tyler Black, who is Seth Rollins now. AJ, uh, he had a match with AJ Styles back in Ring of Honor back in, like, 2003. It was great. Uh, mm-hmm. He's he's a great wrestler. I'm just saying, best of all time. Come on now. You never want that. That's, that's very possible. You can say that, but it ain't gotta be right. But the fact that he's finna wrestle again is great. WrestleMania gonna be amazing. I'm gonna get my WWE Network subscription back because I gotta watch it. It's it's next. Won't it's you, Sunday. It's this, not this Sunday. It's next Sunday. Why don't you just go to the show in New Orleans? You get you a ticket. Willie said we should. I was like, if I go to WrestleMania, I ain't trying to be touching the roof, and that's the only ticket we are gonna get at this point. Or you can pay out the pocket for the big one. Them big tickets gone. Nah, that's they, they, they scalped them. You could probably get them somewhere. They probably be like I could probably a couple scalp hundred dollars them. though. Might even put no money. Nah, a couple hundred. Than, it's gonna be more than that. For them seats up close, it's gonna be more than that. What is this? If we buy a ticket now, we're gonna buy that bitch. We're gonna be touching the roof of the uh, of the Milky Way Center mm-hmm. in New Orleans, or whatever it's called. Is it really called the Milky Way Center? It's something like that. Y'all weird, bro. No, nah, it's the Smoothie King Center. Yo, Smoothie King? That's that's the best they can do? That's where the Pelicans play. <laughs> Y'all <laughs> trash, bro. I think it's the Superdome, The man. Pelicans trash and WD trash. What you been doing? Oh, shit. That's perfect, dude. <laughs> Turn that shit off. I can hear it. Huh? Turn that shit off. We in production. Golly. <laughs> what was that, bro? Nigga, turn the shit off. That was hilarious. We in uh, production. 
Yeah, I know. I'm just saying it was perfect. You, you, mad, nigga. you said what you up to? <laughs> Which is funny. Um, yeah, that's funny. Don't play me sick. You uh, you been talking to any friends lately? Who you yeah, I ain't got no friends. Who you been hanging out with? I talked to Jasmine. You don't hang out with Lizzie no more? I not really. She be I be busy, bro. Dang. I That's be cool. with Jeff all the time. I got with uh, Lindsay. And let's be at man work. The man said he ain't got no time for friends. She, I mean, Lindsay got, she ain't got no car, so shit. Dang. You, but, can't uh, pick, you can't go pick up? Nah, but um, for TV production, I have to use both of them from my, I use Jeff and Lindsay for my, um, you know, my little thing or whatever. And Who's that, who's got, that white chick? That's just some girl that walked by and we used her because she wanted to be in it. Oh, she, she did good. She, went, she was like, can I be in your video? Well, we like, it's on MSG Trap. She's like, oh, I got a lot to say about that. And I'm like, well, let's mic her up then. And then she was like, here's my number in case you want to. She ain't do all that. Her, her <laughs> nigga was standing right there. In case you want to get together after you're done editing, I can maybe help you out late night. I don't want that ugly bitch. But look, her dude was right there. He was like, oh, baby. And he was like, I don't want to be in it. He said, man, it's not being a bitch. No. <laughs> Y'all some dogs, boy. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that's the last time I saw Lindsay. I'll we'll probably see her again soon. That's good. You been hanging out with Ebony and all them? Mm-hmm. I mean, I see him every day, so. But you don't see him, see him. I see him when I see him. You ain't eating lunch and talking with him. Uh, and I'm talking with him all the time, what you mean? Nah, you be going to school. Yeah, come I don't back. think you know what you're talking about, so. Uh, you, you, go go to school, that? You, you go to school, you come back home. I know so you. So you be, you be on the gram and stuff? Yeah, you need to get your accounts back. Nah, I think I'm straight. Why? Well, I, I really enjoy not having it on my phone. No, you don't. I do. If I, I just gotta, I just gotta wean myself off of getting on it on my laptop, and I'm good. Why are you trying to get away from everything? Cause I, I find my, I find it harder to watch movies now than I had been. I'll be trying to tag you in funny videos. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> You be on Twitter, have you need to get off that too? Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get off that as well. I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna get on, check some stuff, and get off like I do Facebook. Check oh. birthday, check birthdays and dip. Place a uh, placeholder point. You need to. Uh, you said it's AMC's Hot um, and Catch Fire and AMC's Mad Men and then everything else. You be so disrespectful to Master None, Orange, all these other great shows. Great that shows, play- but. That's look, way better than both of them, look, look, first of uh, all. Um, like, every every weekend they have a Mad Men marathon where they just going through the whole show. And I've been watching it every weekend. I'm like, oh my gosh, this show. And then I'll be like, is it better than Hong Catch Fire? And then I go watch, like, some Hong Catch Fire. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Hong Catch Fire. And then I look at them and I'm like, these are the two greatest shows I've ever made. And then I stand back and I'm like, as great as I love others, like, as great as Breaking Bad, Friday Night Lights, Buffy orange all that stuff i'm like it ain't touching mad men or home catch fire honestly you can name all your Those shows are you leagues like. ahead of the rest hold on you can name all your shows that you like don't name my shows so don't put I it love, on you, I love, I no, love no, no, no 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 don't name my stuff you can name buffy you can name all that don't name orange don't name uh master no, don't name none of that Keep it to your. You say it's better than all that crap you watch, because I know the stuff I watch be way better than that crap. Well, you need to I didn't see clips of uh, Halt. You like overrated stuff. That, that's what that is. I can't wait till you till one day you gonna watch Mad Men and Halt. You gonna be like, oh my gosh. I've Man seen right. Mad Men. No, you have not. I have. Look, bro. It's one of them shows that think it's smarter than it actually is, like Halt. I it think it's it think it's smart and it's not. See, you ain't even considering the other stuff. You ain't you ain't even considering Breaking Bad, which is amazing. Friday Fuck night, Breaking Bad, The Sopranos, Friday Night Lights, Buffy, Friday Avatar: Night Last Airbender. Great. Stop it! What did you say? So Friday Night Lights ain't great. You ain't even watch Friday Night Lights. I watched enough to know it ain't great. E- easily, that's the show that I know you would love if you watched. It. No. Yes, I know that would be your favorite show. It really wouldn't be. I, I promise you, if you if you if you started watching the show, you'd be done with it very no. soon. No. Yeah, all right. Mad Men, I don't know. Home Catch Fire, you probably would love that show because it's the best show ever made. And Mad Men is like right underneath it. And it might overtake it if I keep rewatching these episodes like I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Placeholder point. Probably the last one for this episode. Episode one, Placeholder Podcast. Thank y'all for 
riding with us. It's been a long journey, but uh, you know, yeah, we we here. But last place on the point. Uh, another one the same is Drake's second best album of all time, yeah, and I, mean, I know that. And I know that now, certainly. Yeah, I've been re-listening to it. Uh, and I've been writing the stuff up on it. I gotta go through the final few. Uh, like I said, Tuscan Letter to Hold On We're Coming Home is the best music he's ever made. I think so. I think it's I think it's perfect. I think Wu Tang Forever and Own It and Come Through. Those are my three favorite songs on that album. Those are the three best songs Drake has ever done, in my opinion. Shut your dumb mouth. <laughs> Those, look, dude. Own it. You always make me hate something. <laughs> Wu Tang into Own It is amazing. It's, I, I mean, know those two together are perfect. Come through is beautiful. From time I like a lot more than I did. I used to didn't like it. I like it now. Hold on, come home, still good. What else? Worst behavior, I love it. Start from the bottom is good. It's probably the worst out of them eight, but it's it's good. What else? Furthest thing is amazing. I love that. Uh, Tuscan leather is great. Connect is amazing. Connected, yeah, it's a lot better than I remember. I listened to it, it was good. Three or five of my city, I do not care for. That's great. I used to didn't like that song. It's grown on me. I was, I was like, Ugh, it's so odd. I don't like it that much. The language is good. Uh, Paris Morton. Pound, Pound cake. cake. Yeah, Paris Morton too. Pound cake is fine. Paris Morton too is pretty good. And then come through is amazing. All me does not need to be on there. But yeah. Another one same is really is a lot better than I remember. The album is backwards. Tuscan Leather is the ending. Did you hear that ending? Tuscan Leather does sound like the ending. I really it's like, the ending. It sounds like the ending in reverse. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I was listen I listened to it. I listened to that song. I listened to that album again when you told me to. I listened to that song like five times. Which one? Tuscan Leather. Yeah, I don't it, know why. It's, a, it's it's the kind of song that Drake will put at the end now. It, it's ain't like it the kind of song it, that he a, put at the end? It's a do not disturb me. It's a do not disturb. It's a views type song. You know it, but I mean? It's at the beginning. That yeah. lets me know that that album ain't, I don't think it's supposed to be played that way. But, I, you, but know Paris, but, like, you know how Kendrick like, damn, it is backwards. And then he released it. No, nah, he did that, 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 that pussy like trying to come up and get some more money yeah, off you of you it. Attack, you ain't got attack. No, no, because he did. Drake just did it. He was just like, "This album is back." You'll find one that out. Sounds like the ending of an album too, though. Pairs one too, but I don't think that's the last song. Yeah, no, come through is. Yes, come through sounds like the opening of a. No, it don't. I mean, the last song technically no. the album is Pairs More. Be, I think come I'll through be, is a bonus track technically. Right. So the last song is Pairs More, but Pound Cake definitely could sound like the I beginning. Think, I think that's on sound. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm gonna listen to it again, but uh. Like I said, Come Through is probably my, probably one of my three favorite Drake tracks. It's like Come Through, Jungle, and another one. I can't think of the other one. And those are probably my three favorite Drake songs. But did you hear that little excerpt at the end of Tuscan? I forgot who that was. I looked it up. Yeah, he was like, are you not, are you entertained? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was like, I just want to, I just kind of want to talk right now or something like that. Yeah, so it, I, sounds like, it sounds like the, the ending of an album. I think that's the ending. I think if you play it backwards... It's the same. I I think nothing's the same. His second best album, man. To uh, take care. I told you. I think it's. I think that's when the Six God was born. I think everything before that was just Drake. I think mm-hmm. nothing was. I think. I think why he said that nothing was the same. I think he knew that it was about to go to a different level, right? Because mm-hmm. it. Because that. Because that music feels different. It don't feel like. Thank me later. It don't feel like so far gone. It don't feel like take care. It feel like that loud. Like you just heard like on Tuscan leather. It got really loud. It got really like bombastic and like kind of orchestrated, right? It sounded mm-hmm. loud to where like to where like now you have like beats like views and you know all the other like very big beats. Like I feel like nothing was the same with the start of it, and then mm-hmm. it goes. What's after nothing was the same? If you're reading this, yeah. And, and then, then you know, and then views, and then it. I think mm-hmm. nothing was the same was the beginning. I think that's when we saw Six God kind of. Take his throne a little bit, and Tuscan Leather was kind of the start. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like that started it off. I could see that. I, I that's it was from uh Curtis Mayfield. It was the live in Montreux in 1987. Oh, okay. Do you um? What was I about to say? I just lost. Okay, but here you go. It said, uh, "But Drake could be digging deeper here." Um, what what's is that, this? What's that? Genius. This rap genius. 
what if this is the last song when it says, if we made, we just like to close off with something a bit inspirational? That's what Curtis Mayfield said. What if the album was made like this intentionally? On the way, you see that really all me begins with it with him basically saying, I love accomplished, I did it with my team. And working his way to pound cake, the language, and started from the bottom. Drake will be saying, hey, we are going to start the album from the bottom. The last song will be the first. And so on to end with an amazing song produced by 40 Flip three times and Drake catching tempos while also coming full circle with his image, artist, art, artistry and impact he may leave on hip hop but last we may never truly know so I think that album is definitely backwards on purpose and I think it ends with Tuscan Leather being he uh, sampled Whitney Houston and Noah 40 should be flipped that song I have nothing three times mm-hmm. that Drake you know could have wrapped an hour on if he just so wanted to I think that's one of his best songs of all time I think nothing was the same. One of his best albums of all time. His second I think, best. I think Do Not Disturb better than Tuscan Leather. I don't know, man. He flipped the song three times. Because, because I, I think that's, I think it's a great song. But if you ask did, me, I'm like. Did, but did you hear what he was? Did you hear what he was saying? Yeah, I heard he was saying. No, you didn't. Took too much time. Why they asked me? I'm taking so much time on the intro. Mm, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> what are you the best part? You know, I heard he was saying. I like the beat. I like it all. Like I said. Do I'm gonna not, play it. Do, no, but do you yeah, think? I'm gonna play it. You, you played your little thing. I'm gonna play mine. My thing was two minutes, barely. That's this like, ain't that's long. That's almost like six minutes. No, I'm gonna hang up. No, I'm gonna play it. <laughs> Go hang up. You ain't gonna hang up. Okay, I'm gonna mute you then. You can't do that either. <laughs> but I can. We're gonna have some real problems going forward. You do it. Can you hear me? Can you hear? It? Can you hear it? Hey. Yes. Can you hear it? No. What about now? Nope. Yes, you can. I cannot. You turn my audio off, you fuck nigga. How can I turn it off if I can hear you? Hey, I don't know what you did. But, uh, yeah, so, if I had to list it, I think it's Take Care, Nothing was the same. Uh, views, if you're reading this. Uh, more life. No, so far gone. More life. Thank me later. Then room mm-hmm. for improvement, comeback season, all that good stuff. Okay. You don't think Owner is one of his best songs? No. Really? No. I don't know. Uh, what about Wu Tang Forever and On It together? Wu Tang Forever is amazing. Yeah, On It is great too. I think On It is better. On It is better than that. And you can be wrong. What about Come Through? Come Through is one of his best songs. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so I, you agree with me on all points. So I didn't say On It. So as we say, you know, do you? But um. Hey man, this is the episode one of the Placeholder Podcast. This, this, uh, but we need to set up what we're gonna do for next week. Now I gotta ask you a question. What's up? If I were to, if we, if I were to ask you to listen to an album so we could talk to it next week, I'm gonna be honest know? with you, that might not happen. That's fine. But would you rather listen to an <laughs> Alex Johnson album or the High End new album? Definitely neither. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest. Al- with you. Alex Johnson new album is a masterpiece, and High End new album is a pop masterpiece. Both are amazing. So you, you know what's better than that? Logic's new album, which is a hip hop masterpiece. What are you talking about? I heard everybody. It's really good. No, I'm talking about the new one. You talking about uh Bobby Tarantino two. You talking about biting the album? Alright. So this is the point of the podcast. <laughs> are, you talk, are you talking about uh me and my wife ain't together no more the album? But they still best friends though. Are they really? I definitely touch on that. Something happened. <laughs> you ain't best friends with your damn wife. See, see the story that we, the story has been talked about on TMZ and that they talked about on Flagger too is that Logic sat that girl down and told her, "I don't, I just want to be single now." And I need time. But they was talking about on Flagger too that he just feeling famous. Like that man been famous since like 2013. Like, right. I don't huge. know. They just that seen him as famous. That nigga been famous. That man, that man has been huge. He could have been smashing anybody if he wanted. But, but know, here's I, the thing. I, I, think his, real... I think his girl was like, "I'm done with this." Here's the real question. 
Is he getting that G wagon back? No, that's why she dropped him. She wanted no, the wagon. No, I definitely get my. She G-Wagon. wanted the wagon. She got that deal with Interscope, and now she like, I got what I needed. She ain't keeping my G wagon. You mean my? He pay, he bought, he a bought that G wagon. Her name on the lease, probably. Her name probably on the note. No, right. that mug, that mug is paid off. Yeah, probably, but I'm saying he probably put her name on it. Like the the pink slip is probably in her name. He definitely did. He got that money, bro. Feel like he need a G wagon. Buy, he'll buy another one. I don't know about all that, bro. Why you acting like Logic ain't out here got bills? Logic, Logic is... is an independent rapper. <laughs> he don't sound. Oh, he independent all of a sudden. Yep. Shut your. I thought only a hundred, only like a hundred thousand dollars. Man, you crazy? Oh, uh, only you gonna buy one in? Logic ain't got a hundred k to drop on a car. No. Then, Log- then Logic needs to get some better management. <laughs> <laughs> Still one of his best songs ever. Yeah. That's pro. I mean, Incredible True Story probably his best album. Shut up. What's his best album? The first one. Under pressure. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yes, Incredible Two Story has better rapping and better. Incredible Two Story got like five songs that are good. Never, never been as better than everything on that first album. Oh, never been is on that. Yep. Never been on everybody. No, it's not. Yes, no, it's it is. Not. No, never man. been. Such a stupid. <laughs> you don't even like Logic, sure. Oh, now I don't like Logic. See, I don't, you see, you're making up. You, you said he was fighting. That's a joke. Bro. That's a meme. That ain't no joke. That's a real that's like, life. That's like, that's like when folks say Russ or Cole are boring. That's just jokes. They don't mean Cole it. Is kind of, Cole is kind of boring. I mean, you know. You feel how you feel. But he making his. He, he making his money. Is he? He looking he hurt, a little bummy. He, he, he ain't hurting. Let's, let's just say that. He looking a little bummy. Okay. So Not that Mark, wife of his. So, so is Zuckerberg. But that don't mean he ain't out here worth a couple bill. More than a couple Cole, bill. Like, we know Cole ain't. How you know that? That man been diversifying and investing. No, oh, I bet. That nigga, that, that, nigga had a boat, little boat. That's all he got. Cole got that uh, got that chameleon there money. Shut up. Chameleon that been investing in tech. I know, cause he ain't a good rapper. If he was a good rapper, he wouldn't have did that. Just cause you good don't mean folks hyped on your stuff. It's you crit, crit's amazing. My bet he ain't got no mill. Crit do got a milli. Crit does not have a mill. Crit is a millionaire. I, I completely doubt. I'm gonna look up his network. No, he's probably not a millionaire. I, I'm pretty sure he's not. No, no, hold on. With all the shows he's been doing. Big Crit Network. No way he's a millionaire. It takes a lot to be a millionaire. It don't. It really does. Yeah, 400,000. That's his network. He trash. <laughs> don't talk about Crit like that, man. He's Nigga been out since 2010. You ain't got no million yet, bro. He prep. He had to put all his money in uh into producing that album. I don't care about all that. Either way, Chris still amazing. And four hundred thousand in the scoff that's a lot of money. He had the best album of two thousand and seventeen, so. so yeah, easily. But uh what I'm saying he had the best hip hop album for sure. He had the best album. Yeah, you know, I, I agree as well. I think he well, Miles in a way had the best hip hop, but like album of the year, I would say Alex Johnson's A Stranger Time and High Am's something to tell you were close two and three. Shit. The only one that came close last year is a couple. SZA came close. That's a great album. I Joy feel... Badass came close. Now, now look. Let me... I'm put Drake in no, this. I love no, Drake. no, it did not. Joy Badass did not come close. Joy Badass had a great album. Joy Badass album ain't even better than damn. So stop it. Ian, shut your dumb ass up. I would say everybody and more life. Joy Badass is a good album. His first album better. You don't even know what his first album called. Before the Money. I love that album. It ain't better than uh it is better than American, American Badass. Badass. It's not. All right, whatever. Okay, whatever. SZA had right. one of the best albums All right, last I got, year. I got one. I got one thing to say about SZA's album. Twenty something is probably the worst song in that album, and I can't believe she ended the album with that song. I do not. That's that's a that's not a very good song. All right, this is the first episode <laughs> of the uh, <laughs> right. of the podcast. <laughs> Ian clearly needs rest. It's been a strenuous day for him, as we can tell, because he's talking right. about his neck. So uh, broken, broken. Was it? Broken clocks? Th- hey, I'm signing out. Broken clocks, and we want to thank y'all for broken clocks and the actually, weekend of the best songs. Be she had the three best, like she had the best 
three in a row songs on an album of maybe the last few years with Gogina, Garden, and Broken Clocks. I'm talking about three masterpieces back to back to back. That's a damn lie. All right, let me. I'm, Nigga, I'm shut up. That's a, that's a, all right, let me. I'm gonna show you the best three songs in the last three years. I would say. No, is it back to back to back? I know back to back to back. I would say, Price of Fame, The Light, Bury Me in Gold. Then I would say, uh, I would say Wu Tang Forever, Own It, Worst Behavior. I would say. Did you say the lights? No, I was with you. You can't say the light because that's not a, that good of a song. You crazy? Light's a great song. What you it mean? ain't as good as the mother two. Alright, so that don't mean it ain't these, the best no, three? no. These songs, no. That Go makes no the sense. Guard, Go Gina Garden. Go Gina is not is broken, literally the worst song. Go Gina three. Garden and Broken Clocks are three songs that can stand alone by themselves. You put them three together, they're great. The light, I don't even listen to it when I'm listening to the whole fine, album. Fine, 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 fine. Ox uh, Getaway, Justin Scott, Mixed Messages. That's still not good because Justin Scott. Justin Scott is the best song in that album. It's not a song. It is. It's, Nate, Justin Scott is one of the most beautiful pieces of music ever created. So how no, dare you? No, it's not. You don't think so? It's not a song. You just have bad taste, though. That's my thing. You like Cole. Oh, that hurt. Um, <laughs> I'm in trouble now. Self control, good guy nights. There you go. Self control, good guy. And you reaching. Good guy. I right, take good guy out. You Nigga, got, I can find you three better songs on that take, album. You take off good. You take good guy out because that's no, the way. No, you know, no, 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 no. Skyline two, self control, nights, and that's it. Thank you. No, 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 no. I got it. White Ferrari, Sick Free, Godspeed. That's the three best back to back to back songs. If anything, it would be White Ferrari is great. I would say no. No, Sick Free is great. White Ferrari is the second best song on that album. Sick Free, the best song on that album. No, it's not. It's not even close. Self control, white Ferrari, the Knights. That was the three best. And you can be wrong. That's fine. <laughs> Sick Free is. Nate, do you honestly think Sick Free is better? I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on. Put it on. Put it on. I'm gonna put it, put it on. I'm gonna play self control because you losing it. Can you hear? No. Nah. Play it on your uh, on your laptop. My laptop doing something right now. Are you downloading music or something? No, I'm watching. I'm playing, but you can't hear it. No, nah, I can't hear it. <laughs> hey, we is uh, in production. Some of these two, uh, you know, you know, what Levar Ball said. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing wrong. Cole is whack. Uh, oh, we ain't doing that either. Yeah, you know what's crazy though. While well, I'm finna pull up six for you. All right, wait. You, before you go into that, I'm gonna go into my three P best. Uh, best. Uh, we got. We got consideration. James Joint. Kiss it better. And don't name Let's none. Go. Rihanna. Don't name none. Rihanna. Look, in honestly, this. look. I go through this whole album. Kiss it better. Work. Desperado. Woo, the best one that I'm is Good Night Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> Same old mistakes. Never in the love on the uh, not love on the brain. Uh yeah, you right now. Love on the brain. Needing me, yeah, I said it. Same old mistakes. Look, that's the repeats on this. That's why this album's a masterpiece. Honestly, that's why it's a classic already. She wished she could have did with Scissor Deal Control, and that's honest. Control is literally a the other a half, better the other, version the of other. It's the other half of the anti story. Version. Anti and Control is the she's same story. She's a better Rihanna. Anti that's and Control is. are the same story hey, coinciding at the same time. Hey, hold on. Is she not a better Rihanna? Is she not a better Rihanna? No. She's a better singer, better songwriter, better music. No, she actually she makes music. Actually, no. Let me let me say this. I listened to Anti the other day. Anti has more range than Control does. Control has no, more, it do not. Yes, it does. Control has a very scissor sound throughout. There are songs. Control on Anti has that, better. Control has better. On, there actually, are songs, like look, Nate, Nate, Nate. There are songs on Anti I'm that sound like Amy. That sound like Amy Winehouse. There are some that sound like um, like a Madonna. No, song. she tried there to sound like Amy Winehouse. Like Island she music. almost died. There's, and love and, on the brain. Look, consideration. She do scissor better than scissor. And shut your dumb mouth. Is consideration not a scissor song? Consideration not nowhere it's near as good as any scissor song. Consideration is basically a scissor song, but but Rihanna had to step it up a bit. Rihanna it. almost died trying to sing "High on Love on the Brain" because she ain't got no range. Nah, she out here giving us real passion under that, unlike that twenty. No, she had Brian Christ. She had Brian Christ in her throat yeah. uh, locked up. That's what that was. <laughs> 
She needed water and tea and lemon. I she can't believe she heard that album with 20 something. That is not a good song. Because that's the embodiment of who she is right now. She is 20 something young that lady. That song should have been the intro. And it's beautiful. All right, shut up. You in, you fucking. Play it then. I'm trying. Hold on. Having technical difficulties here on the placeholder podcast. What the hell? Oh, another three P change neighbors folding clothes. Or folding clothes, she's mine part two, four your eyes only. Or for whom the bell tolls, immortal deja vu. Or immortal deja vu Villa the money. Look, this out it like this is this is the best album ever made. So that's all I wanna say. Four False. Eyes, four Your Eyes Only is the greatest hip hop album of the past ten years. It is the best rap album made of the new millennium. It is J. Cole's greatest achievement. People do not understand because people are simple, and that's all I wanted to say. I listen pa- to the powerful live product. Hold on. Change is the best is one of the best on. songs ever made. I listened to the live version of some of it uh yesterday. Jasmine put it on. The live Literally version, him like screaming on, like on YouTube? Uh, No, Forest Hill Drive. Literally uh-huh. him screaming Forest Hill Drive in front of fans is better than uh that shit. I can't even think of the name. Four Your Eyes Only. Um, yes. So I know that the album is 10 billion times better than that. This, it's is, what I, this, is, what, this is what I say about the live album. I think the live album is worse than Four Your Eyes Only. I mean, it's worse than Forest Hills, the normal. But Love Yours live is so much better than the studio version. The studio version, the regular version on the album, Love Yours, is is a bad song. I hate that song. But when he does it live, it's amazing. I don't know what that is. It's such a weird thing. Why is it not funny? Are you trying to play on your phone? I'm talking about laptop. What's wrong with your laptop? What ain't wrong with my laptop? Wait a minute. Is it playing? No, it's something else. You can go to YouTube and just find it. He posted hey, the, whole, the whole album you, on YouTube. You can shut up. I'm just saying the whole album's on YouTube. I mean, but I, put just, it up. I just told you, though. But I just told you. I said, I can play it from my laptop if you want me to do that. Nah, you don't respect him enough to play from your laptop. I told you what the best songs are. You don't want to listen. Cause you don't know good music. I'm seeing that more and more that you don't have good taste in shows. You don't got good taste in music. You ain't even tell me about about filmmaking, Nick. You can't just you ain't even do. Ian, that. I edit better than you, and I just started. If anybody listens to this, I want them to go find Nate's posts and see his magic he put up. It's amazing. I want folks to see the greatness there. It's literally better than your edits. I'm now seeing your edits. I be like, Ian, you didn't do good enough. You right. I'm gonna be honest with you. Actually, you have not seen my edit. You ain't seen nothing of it. Yes, I have. What? The little things you used to do back in the day with me playing basketball with Carmen. Yeah. What about? They weren't good. Now that I see what I can do. No, they not good. Cause you aren't a good editor. That's it. That's it. That's what it is, huh? I kind of would edit circles around you. I'm gonna be honest. So you finna move to feature films then, huh? I pretty much am. I'm gonna show you my vote side, cause we gotta do that coming up. That's gonna be like a minute. Then at the end of the year, I'm gonna show you my vote side, my VO vote side. And that's gonna be like, with standby and the script, I gotta write a script for that. That's gonna be like a minute 30. That's gonna be my final project. I gotta put that on YouTube too. You gonna see it in the coming weeks. I'm yeah, gonna get busy one time. All right, cool. All right, I'm, I'm gonna shoot a short film and then put that up. And we gonna compare. How about and that? we gonna compare. We gonna, we gonna put it up to the people. We are gonna put it up to the people, cause I'm already getting them comments. Somebody said, "Nate, you the next, uh, you the next, uh, what's that boy?" Thelma Shoemaker. No, no, you, you, you the next, uh, Thomas Paul Anderson. Paul Thomas Anderson. Yeah, yeah, that dude. You don't even. <laughs> I, also, also, I want to say this: uh, Phantom Thread is a masterpiece. That's a Paul Thomas Anderson joint. Um, I'm gonna watch it again when it comes on DVD because I'm gonna buy it, and I think it might be my favorite 2017. I'm just think you spend money on bad things. Literally, Phantom Thread is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I, I like it's. I can't I can't explain how amazing it is. You have to see it for yourself. This shit is taking way too long. Should I just play Sick Freak? Yeah, go play it. I'm sick of this shit. You need a new laptop, Nate? I do. I think I'm gonna have to get. get-
Yeah, be honest. Yeah. That one just tapped up. It ain't yeah, tapped yeah, up. Yeah. Just... Slow. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm and, next and next year they, they said, said like, like if you're gonna, you gonna be in Macomas, if you're gonna be in Practicum, or you're gonna be in Advanced TV production, any of them. You can't use the computers no more. You got to bring your own laptop. You got to download whatever you need. So I might well go and get me like an Apple or a Mac or something. Because this ain't going to work. This expensive, dude. Mama got it. Uh, hey, I'm playing sick for five minutes. It's a long ass song, bro. It's amazing. It's a, it's a great song. It ain't. It ain't. It's the best song on the album. After this, we play self control. No, we don't. Yes, we are. Nothing. Nothing.
Well, when you said fire, I thought that was part of the song. I was like, no. I was like that's weird. What is that? Oh, yeah, I know. I, I got it after you said something. Else. It was, it's great. It's a great song. It's, it's the, the best, best song, song on the album. I think, I think, like I said, I think Blonde is amazing. I think Frank's amazing. I think it's an amazing song. We finna play the self control, and then we gonna call it a night. No, 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 no
what's up? Great song. Why she talking? Why talking about I don't know. Alright, All right, guys. This is great. 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 So, that, so was, that was the first episode of the Placeholder, placeholder podcast. podcast. Well, thank y'all for listening. Oh, 50,000, 50, y'all. Because yeah, you know, over here, Placeholder, we do the numbers. Yeah, that's going to be off top, huh? That's a rip. Oh, man. I don't know nothing else. You know what I'm saying?